Hello and welcome back to the Internal Library Meditation Series. If you'd like to skip this introduction, the meditation will start at the one minute mark. Locate yourself somewhere where you're unlikely to be disturbed, and when you hear the bell, the practice has begun. You'll hear today's consideration, followed by long periods of silence, during which time I'll occasionally check in to remind you of the practice. I'll let you know when we've reached the final minute, and when you hear the bell for the second time, the practice has ended. As always, these meditations are free for everyone. I don't ever want a lack of money to stand in anyone's way of their cultivation of focus, presence, and peace. But if you do feel called to make a contribution in some way, you can find PayPal and Venmo links in the description of this video. All donations are greatly appreciated. And now, on with the practice. Take in a breath or two and let yourself show up here. Notice if this is the first time you've checked in with yourself today. And if it is, that's just fine. There's no wrong time to start the process. So long as you start. And for today's practice, consider the following. Big things are made of small things. Galaxies are made of hundreds of billions of stars. Forests are made of tens of thousands of trees. Our bodies are made of trillions of cells, each one made up of trillions of atoms. Now, how did these things come together? At the risk of being overly reductive, the answer is simple. One thing at a time. Now think of sandstone, a type of sedimentary rock found all over the world. What is required for sandstone formation? Millions of years, profound pressure, intense heat. Yes, those are all true. But what's the most obvious ingredient required to form sandstone? Millions upon millions, tiny, individual grains of sand. Each single grain adds to the whole. And the whole is nothing more than its parts, all fused together through geological forces. A steady state of presence in the mind is just like this. To be clearly here and now, often, nearly all the time, one needs nothing more than a whole collection of present moments. These moments, like the sand in sandstone, form together over time, to create a state, a tendency, a personality, and a life of presence. Let's begin.
re-engage with this present moment if you found yourself lost in thought. Focus on just this next moment. Find one moment of presence at a time. That's all you need. Indeed, that's all we can have. As we enter the final minute of this practice, just feel your hands. Feel the aliveness present in your fingers, your palms, your wrists, and relax. Thank you once again for taking time to cultivate your focus, your presence, and your peace, both for yourself and for the rest of us. Take care, and I'll see you next time.